Hello. I'm just seeing if I come up on my screen, my computer. It always takes a little, a few seconds. Come on, you can do it. Ooh, where are we? Are we live on here yet? Yep, we certainly are. Right, just let me expand that. Excellent. Hi, Maxine. Hi, Izzy. Hi, Sylvia. Right. Hopefully, I haven't frozen. <laughs> Oh dear, right. Uh, my computer screen seems to have frozen for some reason. Oh, I better put me on mute. Don't want to hear myself on echo. Right, there we go. Hello, good evening and welcome. Lorna Carter from Lorna Carter's Creations, independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator based here in the UK. Right, I apologise for the mess. <laughs> I had a bath and it just went, just went up. So, uh, yes. So this evening, we're going to be um, creating a gift card um, envelope, whatever you want to call it. Um, I did put a vote out there, and. Uh, we got the Christmas wreath. So that is what we're doing tonight. Now I know some people were disappointed that I wasn't doing the squirrel. So when I get chance I will upload a video. I'll just upload it to YouTube. I'll not do a live. Um, just so you can see how I've made it. Once you've made this one, it's easy. So, uh, and this time I've got dimensions in centimeters and inches purely because um these were my swaps for on stage in vienna and um i thought because there was uh demonstrators there from all over i would do it in inches as well because there were some americans there as well so i am doing it both in centimeters and inches and you'll see when I show you, because I've done two um, templates, so you'll see uh, there's not much difference in size. So, <laughs> oh Louise, sorry, I just said I will, I will do a, a squirrel, and I will upload it. I'll just pop it onto YouTube, and um, if I can, I'll pop it onto. Um, facebook as well but i'm not doing a live on it so right let me get turned around let's get cracking and uh, let's go let me see if i can do it without messing it up yay long time since i've done it this way i know i did it last week but there we go Oops, we'll steady it in a second. Let's get it level. Not too bad. I know we've got a bit of a glare there. If I do that for now. Right, hopefully you can see okay. Right, so these were the swaps I made for on stage. I did 30 of each. The Christmas ones went first, I've got to admit, but I'll just show you inside the squirrel and you can put your, your gift card in there and write your, write your message, greeting. So I will do 
I will do a, a live on that one. So this one is what we're going to be making tonight. And it is, I love it. Instead of having, because this is the one I made for myself, so um, my prototype really, I'm going to put a layer in there um, stamped up. But, um, but they'd be very similar. And so there you go, that's where you put your gift card. Okay, and you just slip it behind. I just think it's really cute really cute so let's get cracking i'll pop that to uh, i don't know if that's gonna be in picture or not it is there yes right hokey dokey so for this one i use the cottage wreaths um bundle now going moving going forward um, at the moment, you can still get it as the bundle. But going forward, um, this is going to be carried over. So um, it will not be in the sale as such. That's coming up on the 1st of December, I think it is, for the Last Chance products. But this is, say, it's carrying over. I love this. It's not just for winter. It's for autumn. You see, we've we've got spider, um, we've got boo, we've got uh, acorns, we've got holly, we've got leaves. Um, it's just you can make it whatever you want. You could even stamp some little flowers from another set. Doesn't matter. And the dyes that go with it are lovely. Um, we've got this lovely bow, what we're going to be, I love this bow, um, which we're going to be die cutting. So, what we need, I haven't got my stamps out, so let's get my stamps out, get my blocks out, I'm not really prepared. So, for this one, we're using the wreath so that's gone on one block we're going to be using the bow I'll pop that on another block I'm going to be using if I can get it up pick it up I'm going to be using these little holly leaves that in a tiny block and these little berries we're going to use I think tonight and there is a Merry Christmas pop that on on there okay so that's what we're going to be using we're using the Merry Christmas the berries, um, the holly leaves, um, the bow and the wreath. So I'm going to pop that to one side. Out of here we're going to be using the bow die. I'm just going to pop that up there out of the way so it's there. Also going to be using this outline and this cuts show you on here it actually cuts round the wreath okay so that's I'm going to put that one to one side and then I think that's everything for in there so I can pop that one over there the other um, die set that I'm using is my favourite oh favourite stylish shapes we're using the largest circle for this. So I'll put those to one side and I'll put my largest circle there ready to rock and roll. Okay, so I get my trimmer. Just move my inks. So the inks that I'm using tonight are Real Red, Evening Evergreen and Crumb Cake. 
okay we're also using embossing folders so the embossing folders we're using are the 3d bricks and mortar hi helen um and also the time one type which i've done the um circle in okay let me get some card this is thick um ba -ba -bum -bum, yes thick very vanilla get my brain going it's been a busy day at work right so as i say i'm going to do sizes in both centimeters and inches um what did i do with my templates let me show you my templates so this is like the one i made just let me bring in hopefully it just looks a little dark so this is the a as i would say from a4 i've made <laughs> you finally ordered stylish shapes is he excellent there's just one of my go-to's these um so the piece of card we are using for the base is 21 centimeters by uh, sorry a4 no forget that bit <laughs> rewind <laughs> this is a4 so a4 is a, a 21 centimeters by 29.6 centimeters that is the size of a4 okay so this is what we're going to be doing so we need a piece that is 24 centimeters by 10.5 centimeters so out of an a4 piece you will get two base two bases okay and you'll need um other scraps for your die cuts and your stamping but we've all got scraps um so this is the base 24 centimeters by 10 and a half centimeters we need a piece that is and that is thick ba uh, thick very vanilla this piece that goes on the inside is seven centimeters by 9.5 centimeters i'm going to use just ordinary very vanilla you can use thick very vanilla it doesn't matter whatever you want to so that is going to be for the inside and so this is going to stick around like that just so you get an idea your card goes in that piece you fold that over this is the front and that goes underneath so that is the a4 i'll go through the the scoring um when i make it i'm going to do a cent one in centimeters but i will tell you the um, inches so we're going to score it on the landscape side four centimeters 12 centimeters and just short of 20 centimeters okay so that is the centimeters now if you don't want to know inches shut your ears off so this is the letter size which is eight and a half inches by 11 Okay, this is what they use over in the USA and you can see if I just show you next door it's a slightly taller and only just a little bit wider okay and you can still get two bases out of a letter size piece of card okay so if we open this one up we need a piece for the base nine and three quarter inches by four and a quarter inches okay we're going to score on the landscape side at one and five eighths of an inch four and seven eighths of an inch and just short of eight and one eighth of an inch we then need another piece cut at three inches by four inches and you still get the same it's 
still goes exactly the same and it fits the large circle fits nicely okay so that is what we're going to be doing i will when i upload this onto youtube in the description i'll put all the measurements in there so everybody's got them right so we're doing centimeters okay i'm gonna have to bring that out hopefully you can see okay okay so we need a piece that is 20 did i say 24 just let me double check check my measurements 24 centimeters by 10.5 so 24 put the scrap over there by 10.5 so this means that we have two bases okay now before you cut it in half you, we, you could have scored it if you wanted to make two we're only making one so i'm just popping that piece to one side right here goes so we're gonna pop our cutting blade down and we're going to score at four centimeters we're then going to score at 12 centimeters and i've just realized i've put my arm down and i still want it I could have done it from the other end but never mind we're going to score 20 centimeters just short just short of 20 you'll see why when we get going okay so we've got 4 12 just short of 20 okay let's shut that up in fact let me may as well cut the inside while we're here and the inside is seven centimeters by nine and a half so i'm gonna go seven centimeters may as well do this and it's done with by nine and a half okay keep that my wreath should just come out of that piece hopefully keep that to one side right well, let me sit down i need to get a new piece of wallpaper on here <laughs> it's all all ripping and tearing so i'm going to pop the inside to one side I'm going to burnish all our folds. And I'm just going to double check which one is just short so it is that way. Right, so we've got four, twelve, just short of twenty just short of 21 score wants to be at the right hand side okay purely because this is going to be folded over that is then going to fold in and this is going to fold over the top so it just gives you that neatness if you've done it the same size as this one you would have been struggling to get this piece round so top tip done it that's why i've done it just short okay so let's go to the next part let me bring in my bricks and mortar so if i show you on the one that's already made you can see this section hasn't got any embossing so we're going to have to put this in the machine twice okay let me bring my 
embossing machine in but also the bricks and mortar um, embossing folder we need it to be the right way around so obviously the bricks are going horizontal so I've just turned it around on its side and what I'm going to do it's this that we need the right hand side we need embossing so I'm just going to flip this round and we're going to pop that in and I'm just going to show you we have slight ridge so I'm putting that fold line on that ridge okay and just let me make sure we want it on the outside so i've tipped it over just make sure yes so we've got the embossing towards us i've just tipped it over just line it up where you need it just wants pulling in a little bit to line that line up with the ridge just hold on to that and that's what we're doing okay I'm just going to hold on to that while I bring in my machine okay so this is a 3d embossing folder so I'm taking plate both plate threes off which are the clear ones plate two off and I'm bringing in plate four okay I'm going to pop this hinge first okay I'm going to pop that up to the edge can you see just if I just push it in a little bit so I've got it right up to the edge okay i'm gonna pop my plate over the top making sure that's level then we're just gonna pop her through okay let's have a look let's see if we've done it right yes can you see all embossed okay we now need to do this little piece okay keep saying okay don't i sure up lana <laughs> so we're going to do the same thing but with having it sat down we're going to pop that fold line right on the edge we're going to close the embossing folder we're going to pop this back on the edge just let me so I can get my other piece in that's right on the edge of my plate and then my other plate over the top and as you can see it's level so we'll only get that emboss on the bit we want okay let me just pop that oops all over we'll need that again shortly okay so this is what we've got we've got this bit that's embossed this bit's plain and then this bit that's embossed let's reburnish now because obviously we've got that through and this is why I burnished it for a start so we could find our piece okay so this is going to be the inside that is going to fold over and that is going to fold over 
Okay. Right. Let's carry on. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to go round with a, a blending brush. Not quite as dark as this because I used a different colour on that one. That was my, um, yeah, prototype, whatever you want to call it. Just getting some scrap paper. Right, so I'm folding it in half. Right, so I'm going to fold it like that. So we're going to emboss on this piece. Emboss, I uh, blend, sorry. Brain, gone. Totally not really. So we've got crumb cake. So we're just going to pick up something. Hopefully it should be ink enough. And then I'm just going to go round. Just round the outside. Just bringing in a bit more ink. Just bringing in some of that colour. As we go round. Just like so. So we've got that. You've got to think we're going to have the circle in the middle. So we're just, just going to give it so it picks up, because that's embossed, it picks up all the colour. It's beautiful. Okay. I'm not bothering on the inside, but I am going to bother this side. Because obviously that goes underneath. So you've just got to be a little bit careful. What I'm going to do is bring another piece of paper in and pop over like so. I'm going to pick some more ink up. So you've got to remember that this is the centre, this is going to be the centre of the front. So we need to put ink round the edge at the top, down the side, and just pick some more up. You can actually tape this down, but I'm just doing it for quickness. So I'm just going in. I'm not going down this side. I'm leaving that. So now, pull that off, fold that over, I might just put just a tad more, I just want to get it very, as even as I can, just put a little bit more, just on the edge, so it matches. So we're not far off. Okay. Right, can pop that away for the time being. We will be bringing that back in in a while. Right, just the bogey me glue. Right, so now what I'm going to do is this side that we need to stick down because this is going to be where the card goes in. So we just want a very fine, she says, and the glue's going mad. Here it is. <sighs> Never mind. Let me put my lid on. <laughs> okay, so I've just put a fine bead of glue 
at both sides. I'm just going to hold that down just for a few seconds because it's embossed. I just want it to make sure it actually sticks. It takes. Everybody seems to be really quiet. Are we concentrating, everybody? <laughs> Who's been crafting today? Let's have some questions. Who's been in the craft room? Okay, it's just got a bit gunky, but hey ho, it'll be all right. Just pop that out of the way. Okay, so. We've started. That is the base more or less done. We may as well stamp and do this little fella. So as I said, I'm using Evening Evergreen. So Izzy's been crafting. Sylvia's been making Christmas cards. Excellent. Oh, and poor Louise in bed suffering with vertigo. Oh dear, that is not good. Hope you're feeling better soon. It's not nice. Right. So we've got Evening Evergreen. We've got the tiny weenie. Tiny weenie weenie. Um, little holly leaves. If you can see how we've done them, just any, anyhow. In fact, actually, I might do my, might do my berries first. In real red or whichever red you want. So, where's me? My little mat. Right, I apologise if I get my head in here. So I'm just putting berries. Got kitty glitter everywhere. And for once, I'm going to speak too soon. I know I am. I don't have any pussy cats in here tonight. Too busy downstairs snuggling into the dad. Because there. It was cold this morning and they've been cold. Anybody would think they were badly done to. Little devils. Right. So that is my berries done. I'm just going to quickly clean up as I go. Um, I've got all my Christmas cards to make yet. Mm. Shocking. I don't get time. I don't. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to put, don't matter how you do them, just little holly berries and leaves. Just gives you that little bit of decoration. Inside, there we go. So that will fit like so. So we'll glue that down in a minute. I might just go around the edges just with a little bit of crumb cake, just so it gives it a little bit of definition. Just clean off my. No, it's been a good day for crafting because it's been horrible outside. It wasn't so bad this morning, even though it was had to defrost my car. <laughs> and I didn't see a forecast. I didn't realise there was going to be a frost, else I'd have been up ten minutes earlier. But we've done well. 21st of... 
November and it's well it is here our first frost where I've had to defrost my car so we're just going to go in and just only just give a little bit of colour just so it stands out from the background like so So we can now glue this back in. So when I put that in there, you see it just gives it that little bit of definition. So get the glue. Just wants to come in squirt out that at the minute. We're gonna pop that in. If you want to stamp a sentiment on there you can do or if you just want to leave it to write a, a greeting a note to the person you're giving it to okay so we now need to decorate all the inside is done okay pop that there and pop that there so next we need cut a, a circle a die cut a circle and we also need to stamp and die cut the wreath so let's stamp and die cut the wreath and I'm just hoping I think that'll go on there yes it will You know, I had it a minute ago. So, with it being photopolymer, we're having um, the stamping mat underneath. Now, these, um, where are we? Do they call? I can't see but you'll see when I stamp this that's in cup it's a bit of like a distinctive stamp set I've just seen I couldn't see it on there so I've inked up we're just going to go in Put a little bit of pressure and you can see there's some light and some dark patches I really do love this wreath and I think I've got a cat hair on there as well but we're going to be cutting that out anyway so don't worry about that it's just so beautiful absolutely love this I love a Christmas wreath so that's cleaned that okay so our die get our circle and our outline right you've just got to study That's that piece. There we go. I look for this piece on its own, which is this little nobule, and you'll find that is spot on for die cutting that. Now, this will go through the mini. But I'm just going to quickly pop it through my big one. I'm not going to bring it on screen. Um, 
I've got my plates everywhere. I'm just lethal tonight, I think. I'm just going to die cut this just get it all in place as I say this will go through the mini machine so it's good oops reckon the joint let's see how well I've done on that so the middle bit comes out there we go one wreath so beautiful so easy to do love it love it love it love it right so now we want oh, we can reach it i'm gonna die cut a circle out of this piece if I can pick the die up, that's it. <clears throat> I've got a tickle. Scissors, that would be good. Just going to cut that. I'll just whiz this through as well. <coughs> Excuse me. So that's whisked through. That's my circle. Got that up there. Now we just want a little scrap of real red for this. You can use real red. You can, if you've got any of that red glitter, glittery card, you could use that. Um, just have to bear with me because I forgot this bit. Real red. Where's my scraps? Real red, where are they? That'll be the last one I come to. You can always guarantee that. Come on, where are you? Oh. Where are you, real red? Just talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> Just while I find it. <laughs> I should have got it out earlier and I forgot. So I'm just going with a little scrap. Yes, it would be lovely in that red velvet. I do have some left over actually. I used that red velvet for... Um, the Ponacetia dies. Loved it. Right, so I'm just going to pop that through. So just a little piece. Real red. I think I used cherry cobbler on there actually thinking about it. But we're using real red tonight. Just pop that through. could have maybe die cut some of these but I just haven't had a chance to do it. There we go. My wonderful magnetic tray. Right. So what I'm going to do with this is just get some Wink of Stella. Mine's leaked everywhere. Just pop some Wink of Stella over to give it a bit of sparkle. I love my Wink of Stella pen. Who doesn't like sparkle? So you could even tie a 
your own bow and pop it on. I like this. So I'll just let that dry and then we're just going to um, burnish it over the bone folders so we can just bend it, make it a bit more supple and bendy. Right. So I'm going to pop that over there. This we're going to emboss with Time Worn Tally embossing folder. This is one of my favourites, I think. I love this. So we're just going to, just to give it a little bit of texture, we're just going to put that through the machine. And this is what we've got. How beautiful. I absolutely adore this embossing folder. I adore everything. I love everything. Right. So all I'm going to do is go back in now with crumb cake just round the edge. I never used to use embossing folders and I absolutely love them now. Just gives you that lovely texture. So I've not gone too mad. So I've just given it just that little bit of colour because that will be going on there like so okay like that but also this will be going on top I am going to just calm the very vanilla down just a little bit just a smidge There we go. Oops, flicking it everywhere. Okay. Then we're going to go in with, and I had it out, I've got a, the real red blend, which is the dark real red. Bullet point. So you can put gems on. I just I just randomly just went round adding some berries you can do it however you want the little red gems would look nice but I did 30 swaps and I didn't want to use all my um yeah, I ain't got that many left of the red ones. Wink of Stella. I'm just going to just go over each dot and it will just put a little sparkle. Like so. That's our wreath nearly done we're going to get this scrap of very vanilla we're going to get our merry christmas and guess what we're going to do we're going to heat emboss we all love a bit of heat embossing so we want our versa marking what up have i got my embossing powder out Oops. Uh, gold that's what we're after got my embossing buddy I'm 
Right. Yeah, the red puff paint would work, Louise. I haven't got the... Um, I haven't got any of that. I'm too impatient because it's got to dry. <laughs> I'm just going to stamp that down. I should have stamped it on my mat, but hey ho. Add our gold embossing powder. Flick her off. Good coverage. Back in the pot. Pick it away while I've been calm. Let's get that heat tool. Just warming it up down the side. Who loves a bit of magic? get my snips and as you can see I can't remember the name of the lady that um, did the swap with the little scissor charm but it suits me down to the ground because it's a kitty cat so that's gone on my scissors I'm just going to cut that out like so Yes, I did heat emboss 30 swaps, Chris. I did. It was good fun. I only heat emboss this. I didn't heat emboss me, um, me squirrel. Right. I'm just going to give it a little bit of colour. Oops. Like so. Okay. We're ready to put together. I'm going to have that light so because I want this sentiment in here I want it to go like that so I'm just going to put some dimensionals on the back like that four on and because it's going on to embossing a piece of card, I don't know what I've done with my little bin. Um, I'm going to put a little bit of glue on. Like so. And I just want to make sure, where was it, that way I think. So I'm just going to eyeball it somewhere like that. And oh, did I, oh I did, I put diddy ones on here. Just put a couple on. That's it. Let's 
same again just a little bit of dab of glue just to help it along you've also got that little bit of wiggle room so you can pop it in wherever you want and go with it like that and then for our bow we're just gonna use the bone folder just to burnish I'm holding the middle I'm just burnishing the sides so it gives it that bit of dimension okay we're going to pop that up there I'm going to glue this straight on you could put it on with a um, blue dot that's maybe actually what I did So we're going in somewhere like just let me make sure we've got it square as best we can. That's it. And I'm just gonna hold that and just do the tails there we go two seconds while it sets so this is what we've got now this is where you've got to be just that little bit careful So we need our dimensionals to the right. So we need this side with dimensionals on. So this piece can tuck behind. So just be a little bit careful. This is the way I, I even I did it wrong when I was doing one of them just got carried away so this side so I'm going to flip it like so and I'm going to use this side so I'm just gonna put four on Take the backs off. Oops. Glue because it's going on an embossed background. Where are the cats tonight? They're cuddled up, Chris. <laughs> They're cuddled up with the dad. Adrian's been off all day and they've been with him, so mother can just just ignore her. They don't want to be with me. Usually they follow me everywhere. Okay, so I'm just eyeballing this. Centralise it that way and try and get it however you want it that way. So I'm, because we've got glue on, I'm just going to put a bit of pressure just to make sure it adheres. And I'll start putting my things away because we are finished how good's that and it's just nine o'clock so it didn't take that long to do when you've got 30 it does but and then just while that sort of glues 
Okay, so we can put. Uh, hold on. Hold on, hold on. I do have one. Some. Oops. Oh dear. I do have one somewhere. So pop a gift card, whatever, in there. And just slide them in. And that is our gift card for this evening. So as you can see on my prototype, I think I used uh did I use soft suede or Sahara sand, I can't remember. And it was a bit too red, so I went back to my good old faithful, which was crumb cake. And did it, but that's how we made them. So, yeah, so you've got this. I'll write the sizes, say in inches and in centimeters, on my YouTube, on my list underneath in the description, as I always write my sizes. And then this little fella, it is made in the same way. But I will show you how to, I'll do a, sh a video and I'll show you how to decorate this, how I did this. So I'll do a little video and just plonk it on, um, pop it, see if I can upload it to Facebook. It'll not be live, but I'll upload the video if I can to Facebook and to YouTube. So Louise, you will get your fill of squirrel. <laughs> So yeah, so I'll just you've seen you've seen it made, you've seen how to do the back, we'll just decorate this front bit. And all I've done different is use the um 3D embossing. Is it 3D? Uh, just a minute, just a minute, just a minute. Yeah, it's the timber 3D embossing folder. Instead of using the bricks, I've just done it exactly the same. This bit is left bare. We've done it in crumb cake card. And then I say, I'll decorate and show you how that's done. Okay. Right. So what have we got? I'm just catching up, just quickly catching up with my... <laughs> oh, please do like it, Sylvia. Yeah, Louise, you'll see the squirrels. <laughs> and Chris says, don't forget to put the gift card, uh, gift card in mine. Harrods or Fortnum and Mason. <laughs> A Harrods or Fortnum and Mason will be will be okay. Spot on, Chris. Like your style. <laughs> Oh dear. Right. Okie dokie. I've just heard a cat sneeze behind the curtain. They're on the way. <laughs> Too late. You're not going to see them this week, I'm afraid. <laughs> right. Let me flick you back round. Let me see if I can. I haven't done it in ages. Can we do it? Can we do it? Can we do it? This is where you're going to get a right mug shot of me when I go. Here we go. Eee! Got state of my hair. <laughs> I'm all right for his bombs tonight. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm pleased you all liked it. I've really enjoyed um, demonstrating that. It didn't take as long as what I thought. I say I'll do the little video of the squirrel one so Louise can see how I've done that. So thank you very much for watching. I'm not sure what I'm going to be making next week. It might be something to show you from the new mini coming out in January. Oh, exciting, exciting, exciting. Can't wait. Delivery is due on Thursday. Fingers crossed. 
so we'll see what happens so i'll pop up what i'm making you'll see it before i go live so right thank you very much for watching and uh, we'll see you again next monday for monday makes with me lorna carter independent stamping up demonstrator based here in the uk thank you very much for watching thank you very much if you're watching on catch up evening bye